Representative from Graham. Say what's up, America? I think you should know me, right? Hug a half a replica. Welcome to you all in the new episode of series Pi Auto GUI. Well, in this series, I'm gonna tell you how you can use Pi Auto GUI to create some alert boxes, password boxes, confirmation boxes, and uh, one more type of box that I will not tell you this time, uh, but I will tell you later in this episode only. So, first of all, let's think, uh, talk about password. Okay, password box. So first of all, I have to import pi auto gui. And remember, guys, that maybe you make some application that uh, is uh, really sensitive and it should be used only by the user, or you want to give the liberty to the user that he or she can set a password so that no one, no one, instead of them, can open that file or application. So to do that, you can make a login or a password screen, right? So by using Pi Auto GUI, you can you, you can do that. So here I'm showing how you can do that. You have to write Pi Auto GUI dot password, and then you have to write text equals to uh, let's say uh, okay type the password okay type the password so we have done our text now now since the, uh, the default uh, we will not write this okay and the title let's say title is um, title is equal to password screen okay uh, guys it is really helpful if you are creating a security app and then uh, we will write mask 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 must be mm, the default mask is actually a char but let's say we want to use hash okay and that's it so let's try running it okay you can see that pi auto gu i just made up a screen uh, with a uh, with the text type the password that we have uh, written here and with the title password screen which uh, the and the title is here and uh, we have all uh, already created a mask uh, object that is hash so let's say type uh, I, if i uh, press raj it will um, cover that word with the help of hash okay so that no one can see that if you press ok it will give you the string that we that i have uh, in uh, that i have given it but if you uh, press the cancel then it will give you none okay and so if i press okay it gave me the string so guys uh, what you can do is you can use it and you can uh, use the you can use it in a variable like say um and let me copy it k is equals to this okay and now let's say uh, the password is uh, raj okay now i press okay so it didn't give me the string right now if f k double is equals to raj right uh, Remember, guys, I'm explaining this with the point of view of a of security. Okay, so if k double equals to large, then what should happen? Um, print access granted. Right? Okay, since the 
this uh, the key variable was storing our password okay and now the key is raj so it when the x is granted but if the key was not raj let's say um k okay uh, okay i didn't use it in the ideally script mode that's why i was doing this uh, let me copy this Uh, let's do this. Okay, this should work now. Okay, so in the last time we have given the password rad, right? In this time, also we will is in this time we will not give it rad. We will give it YouTube. Let's say, okay. It is YouTube, and if if I have, uh, use it, if I have, uh, I have pasted it. Sorry, guys. Okay, I have to copy this, right? Now I can paste it here. Okay, now if. Yes. The case Raj, the access granted. Else, indentation error. Okay. Copy, paste. Right. Now it should do this. Uh, let me open the script mode guys because I am not good with the ideally okay so here is script mode now let's say by auto GUI so import I have to import it import by auto GUI then then let's say I have specified a variable which is equal to by auto gui dot password and then text it equals to let me copy this all uh, okay so our variable is ready okay now our other condition if k double equals to raj okay then what should happen then say print access granted okay and uh, else that means if the case not Raj, it is something else. Then what should happen? Print um, access denied <laughs> get lost. You are a thief. Okay. And then what should happen? Let's say quit. Okay, so let's save it. Uh, remember, guys, that I'm using here print statements in, in order to make you understand that what 
that you can use it in the if and else statement also so that if your password is correct you can go into the main loop of your pro okay. okay so the name of our file must be let's say um password password right password so let's run it and see what happens oh i got it now let's run it again we should try until we get a solution right so the program is running okay so it gave us the uh, screen password screen so that we can go into the program right so let's say i don't print raj let's say i print youtube I typed YouTube, not print. So what will happen? Access denied. You are a thief. It wants to quit. Now let's say I run it again. Oh man, it made me a thief. That's a bad thing. Okay, so this time I will press Raj, and let's see what happens. Access granted. It didn't prompt any problem. It didn't try to quit. It just gave you access granted, and it, and after access granted, you can also write. Let's say you are having a program, right? So you can uh, make that whole program a function, and then you can just refer that function. Let's say loop. Since I didn't define loop, it will give me an error that you did not define loop. But if you have a program then it will just go to the loop and your program will be initiated so it is just like a password uh, type security which will uh, give your app which will give your application um, a security that which will give you liberty to use your application and uh, the application will not be able, uh, anyone else will not be able to use the application in, unless you want him or her to do so so it's a good thing right so well in this episode it that's it but in the next episode i will tell you about well, about more screens like alert screen and uh, confirmation screen and uh, there's a one more type of screen okay i will tell you later but in this video that's it this is a password screen and i think that it is the most important in screens so let's um okay let me try something like say define loop okay if i define loop left loop no parameters um let's say print oh man Okay. Print. Hello, Raj. Then print. Anyone watching, please subscribe. Okay. So we have defined our function loop. That is, we can just write the whole program uh, and define that as a function and just call that function here. It will it should uh, take you to the function or it should initiate the program. So let's see whether it does or not. Again.
Okay, let's say uh, I will write the correct thing. Okay, I will write Raj name error loop is not defined. Okay, why is it oh, okay? You have to define it here. Control V. Okay. Now let's save it and let's try to run it. So the password screen Raj. Okay, okay, you can see that access granted hello raj anyone watching please subscribe and please subscribe if anyone watching this okay so in the next video i will tell you how you can make another screen another box another message box um which will about alert okay that means if you're doing something wrong or if you're going to do something seriously wrong then it that uh, of that message box will open that will tell you what you are going to do and uh, consequences of what will happen if you do that so uh, till then stay tuned and uh, if and please subscribe if you like this video and till then goodbye